Ah, yes, the good old hot take. For some reasons, humans love to give their hot takes on every subject imaginable. Basketball, you got it. Politics, you definitely got it. But we're not here for sports or politics. We're here for coding. And I spent an embarrassing amount of time gathering some of the internet's worst and more interesting coding hot takes. So let's get into them. So Jamie here says, I would rather see 100 lines of comments at the start of the file than 10 lines of comments before each function restating its arguments and return types with minimal explanation. Ah, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. So Jamie over here would want his app to look like this. That's basically what he's saying. Who writes 10 lines of comments explaining their code, let alone 100 lines of comments? It's probably more like one or two. And so right off the get go, this take is kind of dumb. But hey, let's give Jamie the benefit of the doubt here and let's just compare both types of comments. With option A being writing your comments right at the top of your code, explaining everything in the page. With option B being writing your comments throughout all your code. If you're asking me, as a developer, I would side with option B only because throughout a page, you might have different functions doing different things. But what I do know is that I'm not writing no 100 lines of comments explaining my functions. Interesting take Jamie, but I disagree. The next take comes from Josh W. Kamu and his hot take is a recent bootcamp grad working with React for six months can produce better code than a senior engineer that switched to React because React is weird and bootcamp grads aren't held back by the incompatible habits they develop. So you're saying that a senior developer who on average has been coding for five years would be worse at using a framework than a brand new developer. No senior developer in the world is worse at writing a single framework or language than a brand new developer. I mean, firstly, have you seen how a new programmer writes his code? Most of us at that point are just learning code, let alone learning a framework. And look, I can rationalize here and say that learning React is a bit weird and anyone that's new to it would find it a little bit hard to grasp. But even then, I just find it impossible that a senior developer wouldn't eventually, maybe after a few weeks, pick up on the React framework and write the efficient code that he's used to. It's just such a weird take. Like experience will always win in every damn situation. Another terrible, terrible hot take. The next hot take is from Pinner. And the one I want to focus on is the last one. And he says, marketing and sales are just as important as engineering. Bro, this comment alone will start a war amongst devs. I hate to say this, but this take is actually 100% true in my opinion. And look, from a developer's perspective, we are just trying to make the best app possible. We're trying to make it faster, efficient, affordable for the user. But again, if the whole point of an app is is to generate users to make money, then how can you argue against this? And even in business class, we were taught that if the user does not value your product and doesn't know that they can even buy your product, then no matter how good your product is, it doesn't matter. And I'd go as far as saying that if you have a bad product, but you know how to correctly market it and sell it, then you can generate 10 to 20 times more sales than if you don't know how to do those. And as much as it hurts for the developer side of me to say this, there's so much more to app development than just the coding side. And each aspect is just as important as the other. The next take is from Spider Boydick, pause. And we're gonna focus on take two. And he says, design patterns are overrated and are overly relied on in a dogmatic uncritical manner. That's a juicy take, I can't lie. Now developers tend to fall into two categories on the subject. One says that design is huge for development and you need it to scale applications. And on the other hand, there are devs that say that it's a huge waste of time and that focusing on it too much is a hindrance more than a benefit. Now where I lie on this is kind of in the middle. Would I say that design patterns are overrated? No. no. It's good to follow some principles when developing your applications, especially if you're looking to scale your app to hundreds of thousands or millions of users and not knowing how your system works together and specifically focusing on how each thing relates with one another and how they interact will hurt you in the long run. But also if you're making design patterns, your absolute focus on the development side, then it's also not a good thing. I think if you're trying to scale, trying to optimize your app, then focusing on design patterns is good, but not doing it to the point of hindering your progress in the development side because it does take a lot of time to take care of. Interesting take here. This one, I could either go either way, honestly. And the final hot take we have is from HTML All Things Podcast. And they say front end is harder than the back end. This is a classic example of anecdotal bias. So when you develop assumptions and opinions, based off of your own experiences. Saying that front end is harder than back end is not true for everyone. I personally find the back end a lot easier than the front end. While for a good other chunk of people, working on the front 
front end, visualizing everything, designing things in a specific location with a specific color scheme is a lot easier than the back end. Both are kind of complex in their own ways. But yeah, those are all the coding hot takes we have today. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It would honestly really go a long way. And also, if you want to join a group of like-minded developers, we have a Discord group, so I'll leave that down below. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.